is in the hospital recovering from a vicious, violent attack by two pit bulls in Lakeland. If they attack so brutal, her internal organs were exposed. Let's get right out to our Ryan Raish, who just spoke with that little girl from her hospital room. Ryan? Hey guys, this is such a brave little girl that we got to meet today here at TGH where she's recovering from some very serious injuries. Thursday morning, she laid on the ground at her Lakeland home helpless as two pit bulls tugged on her like a rag doll. And they start biting me everywhere. She's covered in bandages and a little woozy from pain medicine. But six-year-old Alicia Battle has no problem reliving the scariest moment of her young life. I thought they were going to be nice, but then they went towards me and they started biting me. Two pit bulls named Boss and Promise jumped the fence of their owner's property and mauled Alicia while she played on the side of her house. All she could do was scream. I'm hearing my cousin scream help help so i dropped the bag and i ran and i seen hug it and pull pull i go over there you just see the dogs just pulling at pulling at her like they playing tug of war with her her aunt and cousin grabbed anything they could find to hit the dogs and get them to stop in the process michelle williams suffered five bites in the leg and so did her seven-year-old son kamari a stranger who stopped to help was also bit, but Alicia took the worst of it. Too many bites to count. They're from her stomach all the way to her back. Just, it, it was just, like I said, it was just something you would have saw in a, a movie. The dog's owner, Tanya Morris, lives down the road from the victims, but did not come to the door today. Boss and Promise are in quarantine until a judge decides what should happen. As far as Alicia is concerned, she never wants to see them again. I'm not scared of dogs, but only the ones that was that um that attacked me. Now, the owner of those dogs was fined nearly $500 for not having the dogs on a leash. Right now, she does not face any criminal charges. But coming up at 6 o'clock, find out what we're learning about this not being the first incident with these same dogs. That's at 6. For now, live in Tampa, Ryan Raish, ABC Action News. See you at the top.